What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, look, people, I'm over here minding my own business over on my other YouTube channels, all right? And I check back in to Discord, see what's going on, and my notifications and shit. And I get a message. Boss Blunt's talking shit about you. And I said, Boss Blunt's talking shit about me? And they said, yeah. I said, well, what's he saying? And they sent me the tweet. And the tweet said this. Everything Common Sense Investor said in that video is wrong. The guy's either being paid to tell a lies or he isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. All right. Now, see, here's where you fucked up, Marcel. I think that's how you say it. God, please don't be as mad as Mark Morantz when, he, when I misspelled his. But here's where you fucked up, Boss Blunts. You tweeted that and all your people saw that. And I'm not offended by that. But what's going to happen is now all your people are going to see my response. And they're going to see that you're being exposed, bitch. So you should have left this shit and me alone. Alright, so let's start with the first thing. Am I being paid to tell lies? Let me back up a little bit. Have I been approached and offered money? Yes. Yes. And it was in such a way that they would not get in trouble for offering it to me, and I would not get in trouble for taking it. All right? So, yes, I was offered money. But let me tell you all something, people. When you come from my background, money don't mean a motherfucking thing to you. All right? I spent two years in an 8 by 6 cinder block room. I had no light. All right? It's called the dungeon at Angola. There was no light in that room. All right? Except for when they opened that hatch to give you your fucking food. And when I came out of there and I put my feet on grass again and I wiggled my toes and I'm like, fuck yeah. One day, each day gets better. That's my philosophy. All right? I don't need money to do that because I didn't have money then and I made it through it. So I'll make it through the rest of my life without it. I don't need money as a bribe. I'm creating other YouTube channels. Look over here. I came over here to YouTube. I'm on my psychology channel. But it's got an advertisement right here for my options video that I just put up. All right. I've got a music channel that I just started. And I've got one other one that I just started. All right. And they're all starting to do real well. And they're picking up steam. And they're going to be making money real soon. So you can't bribe me, motherfuckers. And they know that. Because when they couldn't bribe me, then it became threats towards me. All right. Through my messages from other YouTubers and everybody else that I needed to change my tone. And I wouldn't do it. You fuck. Nothing scares me, people. Death don't scare me. <laughs> so, what the fuck you got on me? But to call me out to say that, well, I must, I must have been paid to tell these lies. Alright? Notice what he said calls them lies and he said that everything in that video was wrong and he was full of shit he knows I'm right everything in that video is not wrong he disagrees with my last part but he he's got to say the whole thing is wrong in order to discredit the, the last part it's irrelevant watch my video you'll understand on why I'm voting no but am I the sharpest tool in the shit no I'm not the sharpest tool in the shit but let me tell you something, I'm a whole lot sharper than a lot of other motherfuckers, okay? Because there was a time when I started this play that I had forgot who I was. But during this play, it has woke me up and shaken me and brought me back to who I am. That's why y'all don't see me drinking as much as you see me drinking anymore. But I do smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> But I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. But I knew when Trey trading them was bullshitting us about the buy button. And that's when I went live and I told everybody, stop listening to these assholes. They're lying to us. And that's when I became popular. Because of the truth, I tell. And fuck you too, Tindy Time. Because I know you're going to try to comment. I'm just going to block your bitch ass. 
That is one of the worst motherfuckers on my channel. You can imagine, people. But I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I had to go learn how to read these fucking financials. And I had to go learn how to read these fucking SEC reports. And I had to find out what was copy, uh, copy and paste and what was new shit. Because we could not rely on you motherfuckers to do it for us anymore. So a couple of us had to step up and start doing our own DD and finding out the truth. That's what's going on. Now, I do everything within my power to continue to encourage myself and to keep moving forward, even in this play. And I look for every opportunity that can give me hope to keep me going one more day in this fucking play. That's who I am. And I... When I get that hope, I want to share that hope. But then when some things have to be addressed, like a 10 for 1 reverse stock split on APE at the same time as AMC, no, it cannot happen. It will kill everything. They're so full of shit. People listen to me. Who would buy AMC, which I think it's at 5 or $6 now. I don't even know. But because I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'll know when motherfucker goes up and does what he's supposed to do. I, I, my phone will be buzzing. I quit looking at the charts. I don't care. All right, I'm doing other things while I'm waiting on this shit. But the ten for one reverse stock split on ape people. First off, they took half the money to create the ape. Now they want to, after they drove it down, they want to take nine of your shares of Ape. They're going to make it $20 a share, all right? But then when it gets pushed back down to $10 a share, look how much more money we're going to be out of. So we have to be warned that these kind of things are happening. But they can't tell you that, boss blunts. Why? They got to keep telling you, you're going to be so fucking rich due to executive orders that didn't happen, due to the China Evergrande, which didn't happen, and I can go on and on and on. Your only mantra and only hope to stay alive on YouTube, motherfucker, is new people coming in that hear you say they're going to be rich and they start following you, but your older people, they moved on from you, dude. Because everything you try, we're going to be so rich because of this. We're going to be so rich because of that. We're going to be so rich. We're going to be so rich. And the only one getting rich is you. You make a whole lot. I make a good bit, but you make a whole lot more than me on YouTube. And that's my motherfucking business. I provide a service for you. And if you watch this video, you didn't pay nothing for it. <laughs> so, the fuck you get mad if somebody gets paid on YouTube. But, when you're hustling on YouTube. That's a different story. And that's what you see over there on his channel right now. Go look and see how many videos he's put out versus how many shorts he's put out. Alright? Why? Because YouTube has notified us shorts will start paying money. Start building up your, your momentum on your shorts because your shorts are going to start paying money. So I'm going to get paid for doing a 15 or 30 second short versus an 8 minute video. That's the hustle he's into. That's the man y'all are trying to trust. <laughs> I'm just a country bumpkin. Natty Ice. I hear it all. Good deal. But the point is this. I'm a good-hearted motherfucker. I have my best interests and your best interests in mind. I only share with you what I go look for and find. And I share that with you. Now, we have to tell you now that we're nothing but entertainers, all right, which I am just an entertainer on YouTube, all right, or else I can get in trouble with the police. So there you go. Marcel, or whatever your name is, Boss Blunts, yeah, Marcel, <laughs> stay in your lane, bitch. See you in the next video. Love y'all. Be blessed. Creeping up.
love from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believe